Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Michael Mail with Entrepreneur Freedom where I show you great ideas and great tools to grow your online business or to even start one. So in today's video, we're going to talk about an AI image platform. This platform has a lot of great features because you can use a lot of different AI engines inside it. So you don't just have that one like, you know, Stable Diffusion or Make Journey. You have multiple AI engines inside this platform that allows you to create all kinds of images. So if you're a person that needs a great image creator platform for maybe your website or maybe sell some images on Etsy or even maybe for your t-shirt in demand business, then this platform is going to be a really good one. Also, this platform has some really good features that make a life a little easy when it comes to creating images, okay? So if you're looking for great ideas and great platform to create some really great images, then this is going to be it for you. So let's check out this platform and jump right inside. Okay, so we'll log onto the dashboard of Airbrush and this is what the dashboard looks like when you log in. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you the features of this um, platform, but I'm not gonna be going in depth on how to use it. If you want me to do a video on how to use it in depth, um, please uh, leave a comment and the more comments I get and I'll do a full feature video on how to use this product. But I will be um, pasting some prompts in here and just to show you what the features um, are like, okay? So if you want to go up here and you'll see that it has um, uh, like a moon, so you can go back and forth between um, white mode and dark mode if you choose to do that, okay? Over here is where you can add your picture, uh, your name, your business, whatever, e I'm sorry, the email, whatever you want to use in here. It also has, you can get to um, access to um, um, on creating your images here as well. It also tracks your um, credits. Now, FYI, remember every month you get new credits. So if you don't use them, you lose them. Just, just give you FYI, okay? So on the left side, you have the dashboard. Of course, that's what we're in. And then you have create image where you can access to, and I'll show you that in a second. And then you have history. And another thing I liked about this is because I don't have to be searching through all my images to find my own images. This is all in here. All my images, all everything I created are in here and they're all my, uh, mine. They're not nobody else's. I can delete them. That's one thing I liked about this and that's why I jumped on this. Then you have the search gallery, which I'll show you in a second and upscale. Now upgrade is you, if you have um, the free plan you want to upgrade, you just basically upgrade to that, okay? So let's talk about um, creating images and what the features are in here. So just basically, oh, let me go back here and show you. Every single one of these features that it has, it has detailed information on how to do step-by-step, -step, which that was really good because, again, I'm not really good at this, creating images and, and um, creating prompts. Um, so it, this kind of helped me. But um, FYI, I did do a video with a play um, a website where you can create your own prompts. You basically type in what you want and it creates prompts. I did a video creating prompts with that website and using um, Airbrush together and it works out great. So if you wanna watch that video, I'll leave the link at the bottom of the description of this video, okay? So again, let's get back to the video. <laughs> so this will actually give you um, how to do stuff on every single one of these, if you can see, okay? So let's jump back into creating images. So in the create images, you create you you type in what you want, um, and then basically you can create your image. Now the great thing that sold me on this product was that because it has more than one engine, AI engine. So if you want to use this um, a stable diffusion, you can Delhi E2 and Mick Journey, uh, anything. I think I'm saying this right. Woof um, Diffusion, um, um, Redshift Diffusion, and some other ones. Okay. So the great thing about that, if you know anything about any of these engines and you like creating um, images with these platforms, you have access to all like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different platforms to create images. So that's one thing I like. So I don't have to have multiple accounts on different platforms because I noticed that testing some of these platforms, a lot of them do different kind of images. So maybe you might want to use um, a certain kind of image. As you know, McJourney makes really images in depth. And a lot of people talk about that, but Stable Diffusion does that as well. So remember that if you want to create certain kind of images, you have access to do that with this um, platform. Okay, so you get 
um, different engines to do it with. Another thing you have in the, in the features in this is you have different sizes. Now this only has three sizes. I know some other platforms allow you to, to I think that some of them um, come with maybe up to like six different sizes, but this one right now only has three. So it has, you know, a small, large, and extra large. Now, uh, another thing I want to let you know about the features in this is that when you're using these different sizes, remember, it's going to show you your credits at the bottom right here. Okay. So if you're creating an extra large, remember, you're going to use more credits. And I just want to give you FYI, Delhi is more expensive to create images across the board. So if you even use a small one, you're going to use eight credits. So just remember that. Okay. The more in depth you want, I'm sorry, the more large you want to be uh, in size, it's going to cost you more credits. Okay. It also has a, um, advanced settings where you could put the seed and I'll show you um, what, what that is. It's basically, um, it's like making the characteristics of your image better. And a lot of um, platforms use seeds. And then you have, um, you can take out neg uh, negativity means like if, if you say for instance, you create an image and the guy's wearing glasses, you don't want to put glasses, you can put uh, exclude glasses, you can put that in there. And it also has a guidance, different guidance. Um, I haven't used any of these features because I'm just basically creating images. Um, I'm hoping to learn more in depth about these th um, three things, how to use them. Um, again, this is not going to be a video on how to use this, but um, you can probably find some really good articles or um, videos on YouTube on depth what these really mean. Okay. Let's get back to the dashboard. So um, search gallery. I like this too because if I need ideas on how to create images, I can do that by typing what I want. Okay. So if I'm looking for con mostly like a prompt, I can just basically put that in here. Oops, I typed that wrong. Put that in here. And then what it's going to do is it's going to give me some ideas on how to create images. Now I want to say this and, and you know, some people might get upset about it, whatever. Don't steal other people's images. If you see something you like, you go and just, you know, just copy it and then tweak it for yourself. Okay. Um, I know that sometimes you can basically copy prompts and it's going to create completely different images. It happens. Yes. But just to be, you know, fair to anybody who's worked hard on their prompt, just tweak it to make it for you. Okay. So, um, let's get back to the video. So right here you hover over it and it's going to allow you to get, um, different type of prompts that you want. And then you can copy that and tweak it. Now here's the seed where you can copy that and put that into the, um, create image and you can use that as well. Again, you can put that, whatever you want in here, it's going to give you some ideas. You can see different ideas on how to create images. So that's a good, really good feature to have, especially if you don't really know what to come up with when you're creating images. Okay. So we have upscale upscale is basically make the image more sharper and better. I use this to help me get some images off the websites that are web um, BP. Now I, maybe I'm doing it wrong. I don't know, but sometimes when I download images to use for projects, I want to get an idea. I can't download them. They want them downloading into like a text form. So I found out that this upscale works really good for that. So I'll show you a second how you do. As you can see, it has W um, B P. Uh, sorry, W E B P. So what happens is if I use that, I can actually get the image, and it will allow me to um, get the image. But also, it's going to upscale the image to make it better. Okay. So um, again, this is what I use this for. And but you you will basically put your URL in. So if you have an image somewhere on a, you know, website or whatever, put the URL and you want to upscale it to make it better. You just stick it in here and it does that. Okay. So that's another feature that this has. Now this is in beta. Um, I've tested this before. Um, it's still not working so brand, but I'll show you what it looks like. Um, hopefully they'll have it. Now, if you're a web design person who creates, um, covers for their, for their his clients, or you need a blog post, um, cover, just basically go in here, paste your URR in, uh, so you are URL in here and you can create your, um, cover again, this is still in beta. It's, um, it's could be better. Um, but again, like I said, it's in beta, as you can see, the people's faces look kind of deformed. So this is still on the beta, but I think once they get this fixed, 
um, up and working. This is going to be amazing, especially when it comes to blog posts and stuff like that. So again, you just put the URL in here and it creates that. Okay, and you just download it. So another feature that it has, it has different variances of type of images. So if you have um, an image from a URL, you want to upscale, um, not not upscale, sorry. Um, if you want different type of, of variants of that picture, you just basically put your URL, and it says it, it should be uh, in a PDF, uh, sorry, PNG, but I think that they're wrong because um, I've done this on um, Java, um, J, sorry, JPEG, and it's created some really good images. But if you want to create a different type of image from a website, all you do is just basically put your image, I'm sorry, put your URL in there, and then you type in what you want. And then what's going to happen is it's going to allow you to create a different type of image from the image that you've gotten. And again, you could use a different type of um, search engine, uh, sorry, not search engines, the, A, uh, the AI engine uh, to do that. And again, this, you know, it credits and then you can do advancement as well in here as well. So you, all you got to do is just upload it and it goes like that and it'll create a different version of that website image that, you, that you've seen. Um, it takes a little bit. It's not really fast. Um, that's one thing. Um, I'm not really happy about this platform that it's a little slow. But as you can see, so this is, I wanted the black and white um, pit bull and it created this one for me. Again, it, you just get your URL, put it here and then do that. So again, it's, it's pretty cool. That's one of the features I do like about this. Okay. So another feature that it has, it has text to, uh, sorry, image to text. So you could take an image and you basically can copy this in here. Let me grab, let me grab um, prompt here. So not a prompt. So you put your URL. Say there's an image that you want from a website and you, you want to create something similar to that. So you just basically put the URL here and hit submit and then hit gener generate. So what this feature does, this will allow it to create a, a text. So you could take that text and you can actually tweak it to make a prop out of it. Again, you can use this in the um, the prop creator, which I showed you. Uh, sorry, I didn't show you. I told you about in the beginning and um, that website where you can just copy this and it'll create a prompt for you and then you can create images with that. So the thing I liked about like, this is that I can take any image and get the text image out of it and then tweak it to what I want to create images with. Okay, so that's another feature that some platforms don't have. And this one was really, really good because I can take a website and put it in here and get the text information and convert it over to text and then tweak it for what I want to use it for. So this has a, a, a text, to, um, sorry, image to text um, feature as well on this platform. Okay. So it also has in this platform, it has um, templates. So if you need help, again, um, it has different type of templates and you just basically click on it and it gives you that prompt and it tells you, gives you a little bit of tips on how to use it. Um, they're adding, um, there was only a few of them here and it looks like they're adding more um, all the time. So again, this is going to show you different types of prompts or different um, that you want to create and you just basically um, get prompt and it shows you and you can tweak it to what you want. So if you want to do a 35 millimeter film and you just, you know, as a beautiful woman, you can tweak that and put a beautiful man or whatever you want to do. So that's the great thing about that. Um, it does give you some um, extra um, help when it comes to creating some prompt recipes and stuff like that. So that's one thing too. So if you want to just continue staying in the same um, platform without leaving, you can do all that. So these are pretty much all the features. Um, they have a tutorial where they show you step by step on how to use it. You just basically open it and they have tutorials on how to use everything, how to create different kind of images and, you know, and all that. So you just basically click on it and you do the tutorial and it shows you step by step on how to do that. Okay. So that's one thing it'll help you out when you're using this platform. Okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It also where you can, you can earn extra credits and you can, you can share this with other people. You can share your feedback if you choose to and stuff. And also down here shows you all your recent images that you've created down here, access to that. So if you don't want to go into history and go through all that, you can see all the recent ones you've created down here. Okay. So um, 
the great thing about this platform, there's, you know, I'm gonna show you how to get, you know, a lifetime deal. So if you go to the website, you can do a free plan to try it out to see if you like it. So you'll get 20 images to create and you um, don't have to pay for it and you get 20 images a month. But if you wanna um, get more, then you can sign up for the $9 and they'll give you 500, 500 images creation a month of basically credits. And that's what the two plans. Now, on if you go to AppSuno, you it's still showing an AppSuno, which is really good. You have it's twenty nine dollars. Let me go down here real quick and show you. So they have three plans on AppSuno, and these are lifetime deals. So for twenty nine dollars, instead of paying the nine dollars, you get access to the premium plan for twenty nine dollars one time fee, and you get one time price, and you get um, five hundred images a month. If you need more, you, for fifty eight dollars, you get a thousand images created. And if you need more than that, there's a third plan, which is one thousand five hundred um, images a month. And you get this every single month. And you get all these features, just like I showed you, um, as if you was if you had a plan with them over here. So this is, is a better deal. I stacked up to a thousand because I, you know, I don't really need that many, but I did this deal and it was so worth it. So there'll be a link at the bottom of this video on how to get this from AppSuno. Again, this is a lifetime purchase and this is so worth it because if you're going to be creating images for your business for like t-shirts or using them for to create for websites or your thumbnails or anything like that, then this is going to be really good deal for 59, you know, 29, 59, sorry, 58 and 87 dollars. So I would jump on this. I don't know how long this was going to be. I thought that it was gone, but it looks like they brought it back on AppSuno because it did well. As you can see, 210 people reviewed it and it's got five um, tacos, which is huge for any platform, especially on um, AppSuno to get five for, um, five uh, tacos. Okay. So again, this product is basically to create AI images and you have multiple AI engines to do that with. So you don't have to purchase multiple engines in one. And that's one of the great features. And that's one of the reasons why I snatched this because I'm able to use these other platforms all in one instead of going to have like multiple platforms okay so if you like this video um hit the thumbs up and um you want to see more content like this video hit the subscribe button and join us this is michael mail with entrepreneur freedoms um, i'm hoping that you love this video and i'm hoping that you join me and watch more of my content so again um enjoy the video enjoy your day and i will talk to you again and thank you for watching my video and i'll see you in the next one have a nice day